Hello, welcome to our Cisco Cybersecurity Operations video series. This lesson is about the identification of types of data provided by different technologies. In this lesson, we'll talk about the following. We're going to talk about TCP dump, NetFlow, data provided by next-gen firewall and traditional stateful firewall, application visibility and control, web content filtering, and email content filtering. TCP dump is a command line utility that allows you to capture and analyze network traffic to your system. It is often used to help resolve network issues as well as a security tool. TCP dump can be used in a variety of cases as powerful and versatile tool that includes many options and filters. Since it is a command line tool, it is ideal to run on remote servers or devices for which a GUI is not available to collect data that can be analyzed later. It can also be started in the background or as a scheduled job using tools like cron. All right, so TCP dump is included with several Linux distributions. So chances are you already have it installed. So check if TCP dump is installed on your system with this command, which TCP dump. So this means that um, TCP dump is already installed based on the output. So if TCP dump is not installed, you can install it by using your distributions package manager. For Kali Linux, you use sudo apt-get install tcp dump. To capture packets for troubleshooting or analysis, tcp dump requires elevated permissions. So in the following examples, most commands are prefixed with sudo. All right, so to begin, use the command tcp dump minus d to see which interfaces are available for capture. So in the example above, you can see all the interfaces available in my machine, right? The special interface any um, allows capturing in any active hardware. TCP continues to pa capture packets until it receives an interrupt signal. You can interrupt capturing by pressing Control C. Now, to limit the number of packets captured and stop TCP dump, use the minus C option. By default, TCP dump resolves IP addresses and ports into names. As shown in the previous example, when troubleshooting network issues, it is often easier to use the IP address and port numbers. So disable name resolution by using the option minus N and port resolution minus NN. So the capture output now displays the IP addresses right in the port number. So this also prevents TCP dump from issuing DNS lookups. So TCP dump can capture too many packets, some of which are not even related to the issue that you're troubleshooting, right? For example, if you're troubleshooting a connectivity issue with a web server, you're not interested in the SSH traffic. So removing the SSH traffic from the output makes it easier to work on the real issue. One of the TCP dump's most powerful features is its ability to filter the captured packets um, using a variety of parameters such as source and destination IP addresses, ports, and etc. So for example, we will capture um, just the ICMP packets um, by using this command. Okay. All right, as you will see, we're not displaying any name resolution, but we're just getting all the ICMP uh, related packets. Um, you can also filter packets based on the source or destination IP address or hostname. Okay, that should be a minus and then, yeah. Send a, send a ping. There you go, All right.
Um, you can also filter it per uh, port number, right? Using this particular command. So let's say you're, you're you know, you want to connect to a website. So we want to capture a package sent to port number 80. So if we open a browser and go to google.com, right? Should be able to see the, you know, the packets captured. There you go, right? Okay, so this is our uh, simulation about TCP dump. So I hope you now understand how it's being used. Thank you.